Hey, it's us again, me and her. We're back on the veranda. Seems like just yesterday. Me on Earth. Well, I'm here and him, the pony veranda then. Same we time. are on the veranda, yes. And we're here today to discuss, I hope, the uh, trip, the trip that we took to Panama City. Now that we had a week there and are back in Bush Rule, Jamaica. Someone didn't get a whole lot of sleep last night, you'll notice. Hair we start. are back in Jamaica anyway. We're not back in Bush Rural, Jamaica. We are back in Jamaica. Yeah. Someone took her hair out. <laughs> Yeah, pull up some of the clothing. She stayed up late. So I wanted to address just like, yeah, what are some key takeaways from our trip, our experience, things that we enjoyed, things that were, um, I don't know, perspective builders, I suppose. Why don't we start with the easy one, you ready? Was the easy one, the chocolate? <laughs> well, I was gonna say things that we enjoyed was gonna be the first sub topic. Yeah, what are the activities or the events or the occasions or the happenings that you enjoyed in Panama City? Chocolate. Number one, apparently. The bus tour was good too. Yeah. Although probably not remember for what they said because they mostly speak in Spanish. And then when they try to translate in English, it's so just the same like when they are talking in Spanish. So I don't have a clue. And then the wind was blowing hard, so you can't hear really what they were saying anyway too. Yeah, so the idea um, of the bus tour <clears> was <throat> pretty fun. Um, getting on, seeing around the town, hearing a little bit of what they were talking about, but at the end of the day, we really probably didn't hear too much. But we also got off at the Albrook Mall, which caused us to have to go shopping, which caused us to have to spend another day at the mall because we didn't have a whole lot of time the first time. So in a sense, because of the bus tour, you got to go to a bigger, better, shoppier mall. But but then you have the water that's very low, no water not running in there or whatever. Tyler no. told me that the water go away and then you come back. So I, <laughs> you try to explain the concept of a tide to Sonia. It goes away and comes back. That's, that's the easiest way to, to sum it up. And basically yeah, it goes out. Cause some of the boats were like literally not stuck in the mud. Yeah, I mean, they were like- They in, were stuck in the mud. There right. was no water there, none at all. And then after you go back on the next day, you see water. Well, we went, if, you went, if you went back at the different time in the same day, you would see water. So the tide goes out at certain times and it comes back in at certain times. It's just really dramatic because like both... But here in Germany, it kind of like that. The water stay, the, the water backs in, backs out and it stay in one place. There, the water just go away and then you know, see it and then the boat then just sunk and then pure mud and it stunk and everything. And, and. Speaking of things we enjoyed, what was your favorite <laughs> meal? My favorite meal? Yeah. I enjoyed the, the salmon, it was good. Yeah, it was pretty, the pretty fantastic. Salmon. Yeah, it was. It, it looked was really, really nice delicious. too. And the drinks that go along with it, I'm yeah, sure she enjoyed the, too. The, um, my the blended margarita. Margarita, that was good. Got different colors, so it's, uh, yeah. Color matters, apparently. The appearance of stuff matters. The appearance of human being does matter too. Just like the appearance of stuff, food where people care to serve you, yeah, it does matter. Yes. Does it make it taste better? Yeah. Well, yes tasting it with her eyes. So what about like city living? Like just the idea of... No, I'm only living up on a city. Yeah, it was, it was cool. Like a perspective to live amongst the city. There was a little market next to us. Everything basically we needed within walking distance. Sounds familiar. Yeah, it was near. It was walking distance, yes, but it's too, it's too crowded. It's too, I don't like you building them neither. The skyscrapers? Even waiting years to see skyscrapers. Yeah, but I'm not, I'm not about a, you looked up and they were scraping the sky. I'm, I'm good. No, thank you. I'm living in those buildings, man. What about the mall? The mall was fun. Yeah, although, I know. Although it will last. No, the Arbor Mall it will last in a faster than the, the uh, multi plaza. Yeah, it was, speaking of food, it was a quite a fun reminder of like what it's like to have, even in the, the mall, you have Papa John's, Wendy's, Burger King, uh, little, no, no, Little Caesars wasn't there, but... Little Caesars was for the downtown. Sushi, I mean, just to having like 20 different places of different types of food, and it was fun. But, I mean, after a, a few days, I don't know, I don't think it really, it, it lost its appeal like the second time you ate there, and you're like, oh yeah, I remember how all these food tastes, and it's like, yeah. 
away from when we went to Applebee's, I never like. I wouldn't. I wouldn't recommend nobody to go there. Yeah. I never liked the food. You know, when I went to Minnesota and get Applebee's <laughs> there and get the the um. This was five years ago. You're it doesn't really... <laughs> matter. It, I still remember it. If the thing is five years. <laughs> The Not drumming lesson was fun for the cultural experience. I think Dave really enjoyed getting to have a formal lesson. Sonia. Not so good. We learned Sonia has, she's got rhythm in her feet, but her hands. You tried. You tried. Tyler, don't show me your neighbors because you never have no rhythm in your hand. Them neither, you know, because the guy have to tell. The, you tell one of his top two. No, 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 we need an already me now we are not. That was the we just try. We, we try. try. A matter of fact, one of the have more beat than me. No, no, we need that. We just said I try bong, 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 something. Yeah, it was fun. But Iggy is like, he kind of like lift your spirit. You know, if you're done, you kind of lift your spirit up so you kind of get the energy out and things. Oh, thank you. Can I get an example here real quick? No. <laughs> when your spirits are down, <laughs> when you're down, do you just lift it up and you just bang, 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 bang. Yeah, Matthew McConaughey style. Next time, if you know, you know. Anyway, but so beyond all of the things that we did, uh, one thing that I wanted to take away from that experience, um, can you see Dave flying the plane? That was a lot of fun. It was an enjoyable. It reminded me of when Sonia and her kids first flew on a plane and he seemed very in, excited about the idea and nervous, but he, he flew like a champ. He didn't lose anybody at the airport this time, unlike <clears throat> last time. We have to call another story we for another time. We don't uh, need to go into that. We have to call out to, to Dave to not uh, run away and leave us anyway. Too. Yeah, but it worked out. Yeah. Uh, I think one of the biggest things that I'm going to take away from the experience was Chuck E. Cheese. And I'm not, not for the reasons you might think, right? Like it was a lot of fun to, to give Dave some whoopings and some, you know, basketball hoops and video games and see him enjoy himself. But I distinctly remember going, we went there twice actually. We ate there once and then on our last day we went back just because it was one last hurrah. But I, I, I want to continue to remind myself that both times we went there, the same lady was working at the front. And why is that a big deal? Well, because I, I, I try to envision what like that life must be like going to Chuck E. Cheese to work every day. Because they play loud music. And let's just say there was a song that kept playing <laughs> over and over again, and it was about sparkles. <laughs> and I got that thing stuck in my head for the two hours that I was there. And I could, I could go into, do you know the song? You want to sing it? I don't know this song. Like, da, 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 sparkles, and there's a big old. It's loud, and I'm just trying to imagine to myself, like, man, imagine working here eight hours or so, listening to this all day, every day, dealing with kids. And for me, the big perspective takeaway is I really need to appreciate where we have worked hard to find ourselves here now, where work is voluntary, it's optional. The house that we live in is paid for. It's not owned by a bank. It has our name on it. The, the burdens that I daily, <laughs> the daily burdens I impose upon myself are, are for my own joy or, or attempts of happiness, not because I need to go earn a paycheck and t punch a time clock. And so that's the biggest takeaway that I have from this trip is like I need to remember that, hey, this we've earned all of this. I shouldn't be complaining about not going to work and not having to deal with things that would maybe cause discomfort, especially when songs are playing like the one sparkles and appreciate and enjoy the simplicity of this life that we've created for ourselves. Not now we take away the trip was fun. <laughs> you and that's what I'm saying. Like we need to appreciate that we're not working at Chuck E. Cheese, listening to sparkle songs and dealing with running those kids complaining about a game not working. I'm just saying, I can't, I'm just imagining that livelihood of like, that's gotta be maybe not the most enjoyable experience every single day to have to get to do. Unless you really love sparkles and nay, if that's the case. It's not only sparkle, I want them to sing. They sing other songs. They song. sing a lot of kids buff and sparkles. That's all I gotta say about that. But, so happy to be back home. Andre! Andre. <laughs> happy to be back home. Happy to find ourselves, at least myself, in a better, more positive state of mind with hope growing daily, literally and figuratively. And Sonia, making kidney tonight. She's thrilled. We're gonna go now.
it was fun going anyway a new experience different place hunting but you guys should go and try it out if you've never been before for yourself to get the experience as well yeah bye thank you love you guys and god bless you all thanks for sharing to our, our channel and subscribing and goodbye and goodbye bye